So, you're a 21st century mom trying to figure out how to stock your refrigerator. I can understand. I'm in the same boat as you and I want to tell you what the essentials are for your refrigerator as a 21st century mom. So let's start with milk. You're going to need a, a carton of low fat milk. This is because we're all trying to lose our baby weight. It's also because we want to keep our kids nice and at a healthy weight. So you want your low fat milk. You're also going to need another milk. Now I happen to have whole milk because I have a skinny as a real husband and he loves to taste. Not that I'm jealous or anything of him drinking whole milk. You may need to have some non-dairy milk like almond milk, coconut milk, um, let's see, soy milk. So you may have a need for one of those flavored milks, but you're going to need those two milks. That's important. Stock. Everyone needs some, some stock, usually chicken stock, although sometimes I use beef stock. Anyway, what you really need in your fridge are two opened containers of chicken stock, both with about the same amount one of which you followed through and labeled as to the expiration date, the other of which you never labeled, which leads to the delightful guessing game of, when did I use this stock? Is it still good? Very important to have both kinds of stock in your fridge. All right, ladies, this is my favorite, favorite grocery um, refrigerator essential. This is the bag of good intention greens. Look at this. This is a whole bag of good intentions. Did you buy kale? Because you're going to make your own kale chips. Finally. I mean, you've only seen like 20 recipes for it on Pinterest. How hard can it be, right? Or another good intention. Maybe, you know, these happen to be spinach greens. Mmm, spinach. I know I'm going to make a spinach salad because everyone loves that. Just cut up a red onion. Cut up the spinach. Throw a hard-boiled egg in there. Healthy, quick, easy, nutritious dinner. Of course. Good intention. Or another good intention for the good intention greens is smoothies. You know, all your friends have been raving about their green smoothies and how good they are and all that. You're going to make a green smoothie. That's why you bought these greens, to make your green smoothie. That's another good intention for this bag. Um, ooh, one of my personal favorites is to take the bag of greens and saute them with some olive oil and some garlic. That is so amazing. I love it so much. I do it at least one time a year. And um, finally, the important thing, here's a pro tip for, uh, for managing your bag of good intention greens. When this bag turns into a compressed bag of stinky green goo, don't compost it. Don't open the bag. Just knot it up, throw it out, because the smell might kill you. So you're going to need pickles in your fridge. And the reason you need pickles is because if you have a toddler, there's a high likelihood that at some point that toddler is only going to want to eat one thing. And it might be something like pickles. The beauty of pickles is they're a vegetable. So you're a winner all around. They want to put your pickles back into your, your uh, condiment door. As you can see, we have lots and lots of stuff in here. Um, and this is also like an essential part of your fridge. So for example, you got to have your obscure fish sauce, clam juice, because you use this for a recipe once and you never know when you're going to need to use it again. Um, you want to have some, uh, some lemon juice freshly squeezed from the bottle. You also, um, oh, of course you want to have your ketchup. This is indispensable, um, as a dipping sauce. And the other thing, that you want to make sure of with your condiments here. Um, oh, I almost forgot. You, you need a, a really gross looking squeeze bottle of jelly. And then you want to make this a jigsaw puzzle so that you're the only person who can fit all of this stuff back in. That's really important. Ladies, box wine. This is not your old aunt's boxed wine, okay? Now, boxed wine is essential for any 21st century mom for a couple reasons. And the first one is no air gets into the bag, so the wine never goes bad, right? So you can, uh, you can have this for like a month because the wine isn't going to go bad, so you don't have to open the bottle and then worry. So, you know, does it cork in securely and did this $500 thing I bought? Forget it. It's all sealed up, never going to go bad in this box. The other beautiful thing about ye old boxes, you have no idea how much you're drinking. 
hope this has been helpful for all of you 21st century moms out there. Just a few pro tips about the kinds of things that should be lurking in every busy 21st century mom's refrigerator.